my name is Karen Ramirez, and today I'm going to interview Dolores Huerta. She's a very big inspiration for me, and I want to learn about her activist journey so I can get inspiration for my own. Welcome to the Dolores Huerta Foundation. What we're trying to do is establish resource centers where folks can come in and get the referrals they need to be able to sustain themselves to make change. We actually sometimes host like trainings with the youth here, our volunteers, we call wow. them Vecinos Unidos. In the first time they saw the mics, they were like, I feel like I'm a board member. Oh no, yeah, that, it reminded me of the school board. That, that's <laughs> yeah. where I do a lot of work. So oh, nice, so what are some of the work that you do in the school board? I do a lot of like community outreach. Nice. So it's a lot of things like going to events where there's a lot of Latino populations mm -hmm. and I go and speak on behalf of students. So when I saw that, it really reminded me. Oh, that's so cool. This is actually Dolores' office. Wow. Uh, yeah, so but cute. sometimes she'll come into the office. <sighs> Hola, <laughs> nice to Hi. meet you. And I think about all the lobbying that you did. Mm -hmm. I know that I want to do something like that mm -hmm. where I'm actually in the government. You were involved in a time when there wasn't a lot of space for women. How did you combat that and what advice do you have? The main thing is don't let people dissuade you. If you go into a meeting and you don't see any women on the diet, so say, hey, where's the women at? People that are being affected know the solutions, okay? Mm -hmm. But they have to be taught how to speak up. There's so much that I want to do, and it's just one of me. Well, so we have to organize other people to help us. When I fought for the amnesty bill of 1986, and everybody kept saying, Dolores is crazy. It's never going to happen. <laughs> and I had to ask a lot of people to help. And we got it passed. So always keep an eye out for people that you can mentor, because the way that people learn leadership is by doing. And then we have more people. Exactly. And I just want to thank you. You're a hope for the future. Oh my goodness, so you are so cool. When I saw Dolores Huerta walk into the room, I was starstruck. It just gave me like a vision on what I can keep doing and gave me inspiration to keep the activist work up. Karen is a very delightful young woman, a very committed to making the world a better place for all people, but especially for the Latino community. We can be happy to know that our future leaders look like Karen. <laughs>